You know, I was one of the people coming in who would argue you down that if Russell Westbrook ever got the opportunity to get that stuff healthy with Durant, because they've been going battling injuries for the last couple of years, I was one of the people saying, look, maybe, maybe every other point guard will bow down to Steph, except maybe a Damian Lillard, who I love. But I was saying Russell Westbrook was the only guard in the league for a fact that I know could go at Steph. And he's been having tremendous games against Steph. I mean, as far as numbers are concerned, his shooting hasn't been the best. The last game was, it was pretty bad from the field, but the first two games, it was pretty good from the field against Steph. But the, the problem with the Thunder is not the fact that Kevin Durant and Russell Westbrook have chemistry issues with each other. They don't trust you know, each other on the court. It's not that. They trust each other. They'll get each other the ball. The problem is they don't trust the other 10, 12 people on the team. That's the issue right now with this team. They... It's literally one play. Durant, rebound. And you're talking about two people who get about seven, eight rebounds a game. Durant, rebound, dribble, 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 then pull up from 30 or get to the rack. And, you know, a lot of times that work off sheer, sheer talent alone, these are two of the top three, four best players in the game right now. So a lot of possessions, that works. But when you're talking about half-court offense in the playoffs, that's not going to work. That's why they have lost more games in the fourth quarter than, than anybody in the NBA. I think tied for Philadelphia with 10 fourth-quarter losses. That's why they're losing those games because when the game slows down, when teams are not turning the ball over, when you're not getting out in the fast break like that, they can't get a basket because 9 times out of 10, Westbrook's going to pull up for that jumper. We're talking about the fourth quarter here. So, you know, his stamina is not where it was at in the first half. You talking about So Westbrook's probably going to pull up for that jumper. That's not working. A lot of times it has no lift in the third and fourth quarter. Durant's pulling up from 30. I mean, he's a great shooter. A lot of times he makes that shot, but it's not running the offense. Billy Donovan's not getting the best shot available each possession. I don't see a lot of screens from this team anymore. When Kendrick Perkins, people things that people don't, don't realize when Kendrick Perkins was around, he was the ultimate screen setter for this team. Durant used a lot of those screens. I mean, he was legit wide open off these strong, big body Kendrick Perkins screens. Doesn't have that luxury anymore. Now you got Steven Adams playing. Still a good player, but just doesn't set those screens, doesn't flow the offense like a Kendrick Perkins did, did, you know, as far as like doing the dirty work and everything. So now you're looking around for offense. I tell you another thing, Serge Ibaka has taken a step backwards. I remember at, at one point last year and, and two years ago as well, Ibaka was beginning to be, starting to become a, a, a consistent jump shooter, you know, and I think his jumpers moved backwards and you got to kind of. Blame him and, and blame Durant and Westbrook because they're not getting them the ball as much. They're taking more shots to give to give them credit. They haven't been healthy much the last two years. So so they're trying to figure things out as well. But the offense isn't flowing. And, and I'll tell you another thing as well. Um, Roberson's a decent defender. But I don't think he's good enough. To, to be on the court. They should have went out and got a shooting guard at the deadline. One of those scorer-type shooting guards. We heard the rumors that Jamal Crawford was on the, on the market or, 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 you know, Joe Johnson just got picked up by Miami. They should have went out and, and pushed for one of those guards. The problem is Westbrook and Kevin Durant, they're two of the, the players that really don't do that. They don't go out. They don't recruit like a LeBron or a D-Wade. They don't do that. They'd rather get it done with the people who want to be there. I think the only player they've ever recruited for is Pau Gasol. They really aren't the type of people to go out and try to grab people off the market or tell them, hey, you should come play with us. They're those type, especially Westbrook. If you want to be here, you want to be here. If not, we'll get it done with what we got on the court. You love that mentality to an extent. But in the new days, in the new NBA, everybody's recruiting right now. Doc, you got Doc Rivers and Chris Paul going to your house. And Blake Griffin going to DeAndre Jordan's house. 11.50 at night. So, I mean, you got to go out and, and grab players, and their unwillingness to do that is kind of put them in a bad spot because I don't believe Roberson's a clampdown defender. For example, the Memphis Grizzlies over the last four or five years have been one offensive weapon away from a championship. They don't have that. But they stick with Tony Allen at the two because 
not this year, but over in the past, he's been a lockdown defender. You can take that L as long as you have a lockdown defender. If they, if the, if if Roberson was on the court and let's say they play in the Thunder, if they have somebody who they can guarantee can lock down Clay, you take that L or lock down a Steph. You take that L because he's giving you so much on the defensive end and it's helping you on the offensive end. But they don't have that in Roberson. He's a good defender. He's becoming a better defender in the league, but he's not there right now. He's young. They don't have the firepower. And also, Roberson can't knock down that jumper right now. You know, thinking back to the Bruce Bowens of the league, of the world, they were great defenders, but they also had the ability to, to sit in that corner or whenever it might be and knock down that jumper. Roberson just doesn't have that in his arsenal right now. Um, Randy Ford still is getting, getting accustomed to the system in Oklahoma. You picked them up at the deadline. I don't think that's enough. Cameron Payne is still young. I don't think that's enough right now. He's young. You throwing him in that situation to, to have to compete for a championship. You're in Durant's free agent season. I don't think he's able to give you what you need right now. And, and that's my biggest concern. And I don't trust the Deion Waiters. He's inconsistent. I mean, great talent coming in, but inconsistent his whole NBA career. That's why Cleveland traded him. I, I, I don't know if they have enough firepower. Right now, they're, they're, Billy Donovan is rolling with keeping Durant and Westbrook on the court at all times. But I'm just saying, that's going to wear them out. In the playoffs, you're talking hard minutes against the Thunder. I'm sorry, hard minutes against the Warriors. Hard minutes against the Spurs. You know, there's no breaks in the Western Conference. So I'm concerned a little bit about, about the Thunder's depth and about the trust that um, Kevin Durant and Russell Westbrook has. Not in each other, but, but their teammates. Hey, I want to thank you for taking time out of your day to watch my interview, my performance, or maybe it was a feature story. Now, right now, you can either subscribe to my channel or you can watch other performances. Thank you for taking the time out. It's MrTelefero.com. I hope they lock you up so you will never become a doctor. What are you talking about? They interrupted you in your practice. You don't have a practice. You want to know why? You don't have a degree. You're, you're not a doctor, man. You don't 